coming in here. I want to go a little bit further than we did last year, leave our legacy. 2018 was a special year for Coach Hood Gibson and the James and Bennett Clippers as they went 9-3 and three and clipped their way into history. First time ever on the Eastern Shore, a 3A Maryland team won a playoff game. As the Clippers topped Longreach. This group is finally, finally doing what we need to, to be successful. Setting up a meeting with Chesapeake in the East Region Final. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. And you never, never want it to end, and, and unfortunately it does, and uh, we'll be all right for it. But beyond their loss in the East Region Final, there is another defeat that Hoot and the Clippers want to rectify. There go. Full speed, full speed. The Ken Island game. Definitely be the Ken Island game. And you're racing to get to the quarterback's pitch. We were up 13-7. We stopped running the ball and tried to throw it. And we, and we turned it over and gave Ken Island momentum. And, and that's what I really learned from that game. Was just do what you do and do it well. Ken Island and James M. Bennett have more in common than just being each other's dance partners this week. They also share identical records of 2-1-1 and two common opponents, Easton and the Bucks' rivals, Kent County. Coach Ferragamo is not putting too much weight into that. We, we don't put much stock in that. Um, we, we warned our kids not to put much stock in that. You know, when you get into score comparisons, uh, you, get yourselves into, you get yourself into trouble. But some of his Bucks see something that they might be able to exploit Come game time. We know Bennett comes and they aren't really ready to play football. I think they kind of sit back and they, sh they watch a little bit. But come Friday, words no longer matter. We got a minute, we got a minute, let's get some reps. Sir, go. As the James M. Bennett Clippers are looking to write a final chapter, fitting of their longtime coach, Hoot Gibson. Everybody's been asking me with this will be my last year coaching. What do you, how do you want to be remembered? I was like, I cared. Well, the Bucks are looking to write their own legacy with another win against the Clippers. This is his last year. Hope he has a good one, except for this Friday night. <laughs> Clippers and Buccaneers. The matchup is 24 hours away. And they won't know what to expect. Let's come away with the W. Let's keep it rolling.